Hello, in this video I'm going to talk to you about how you can connect your Nikon Z63 to the Nikon Imaging Cloud service. To complete this setup, the things you'll need with you would be your camera, a fully charged battery, a computer, tablet or smart device, and a good Wi-Fi connection. You'll start the connection process by accessing the network menu in your main menu on the back of your camera. Once you start the Connect to Imaging Cloud process, it will ask you to connect to your available Wi-Fi network. Make sure you choose the correct Wi-Fi network and enter in the correct password. That will then take you on to the next step and it will show you a QR code that you can scan or a URL that will link to the Nikon Imaging website. The Imaging Cloud website will then talk you through the process of how you connect your camera to your cloud service. The way that this will work is the first thing you need to do is create an account. Creating an account is free and you can use any email address that you have access to. Once you've created an account, you can then continue with the connection process. The first step is to enter a code into the back of your camera. The Imaging Cloud website will give you that code. You enter that into the back of your camera, that will then allow your camera to go on to the next step. The next step will be the camera giving you a code to enter into the website. Once you've put that code into the website, the connection can then be confirmed. This just makes sure that your camera is connected to your cloud service, and it means that it's a nice secure connection and you're registering the correct camera. This is a one-time connection, and you don't have to do that again as long as your camera is registered with your cloud account. That completes the initial connection process. Now you have full access to Nikon Imaging Cloud services and your camera can be ready to start uploading images to your cloud straight away. Now the initial connection process is complete, you can start to customize how your camera uploads those images to the cloud. And you have a couple of different options, especially when it comes to different file formats. If you are shooting in RAW and JPEG, you have the option to upload both RAW and JPEG files, or just the RAW file or just the JPEG file. You can also do the same thing whether you're shooting RAW and the HEIF files, again, just choosing which file type is right for you. Think about what files you want to store on the cloud. Is it more important for you to have access to your RAW file straight away, and you don't need those JPEGs to be stored on the cloud, or would you prefer that both your RAW files and your JPEG files are stored there for you? The choice is yours and you can change this in your upload options. You can also choose to upload a specific folder from your camera. If there's a folder of images that you do want to upload to the cloud, but another folder that you don't want to upload, you can choose individual folders on the back of your camera, making sure you're only uploading the images that matter to you. If you don't want the camera to upload all of your images to the imaging cloud, then you can pick and choose the images that are most important to you. As you play back those images, you can press your I button and that will then allow you to select that image to upload to the cloud. This gives you the access to individually upload each individual file, picking and choosing which ones are more important to you when you upload them. It's important to remember that your camera will need to be connected to Wi-Fi to make use of the cloud storage upload. Also, keep in mind that the Imaging Cloud will only store your images for 30 days. The Nikon Imaging Cloud is designed to be a short-term storage system that allows you to transfer those images onto longer-term cloud storage or onto hard drives or other devices such as laptops, tablets, or smartphones. Currently, the Nikon Imaging Cloud will allow you to store any image file type that you take using your camera, but it will not allow you to store any video file type. Another key aspect of the Nikon Imaging Cloud service is Nikon Imaging Recipes. Nikon Imaging Recipes are a really quick and easy way to adjust your style and your creativity when it comes to taking images. You can either download Nikon Imaging Recipes from Nikon creators and photographers, or you can create your own Nikon Imaging Recipes in the Imaging Cloud service. To download Imaging Recipes from other creators and photographers, access the Imaging Cloud website from a laptop or from a smart device, and choose the creator's imaging recipe that you'd like to download. Each recipe will give you a preview of all of the settings and the adjustments before you download it, allowing you to make sure that you're choosing the right one for you and your style of photography, or maybe trying something new. Once you've found an imaging recipe that you like, you can register that imaging recipe to your camera. Registering it to your camera does not automatically download it to your camera. You would then go over to your camera's menu, head into your photo shooting menu, and look for Set Picture Control. In Set Picture Control, there'll now be a new option at the very bottom of that menu, and that new option will be called Cloud Picture Controls. You'll see an option in the menu that will say Add Cloud Picture Controls to your camera. 
When you highlight the option that says Add Cloud Picture Control Files, you'll see there'll be an option to download those files from the cloud displayed to you with a cloud icon. Press the respective magnifying glass button to download the files from the cloud. Once you've downloaded them, then press OK on Add Cloud Picture Control Files and it will add them into your list of picture controls. These will now be a part of your entire list of picture controls and will allow you to access them at any time. Although you can pick and choose as many imaging recipes in the imaging cloud as you like, you can only store up to nine of them in your camera at any one time. If there's more than nine, you have to go and delete one of those previous imaging recipes that you've used in the past and replace it with a new one. Any imaging recipes that you download are going to be in addition to any existing camera picture controls that are in your camera by standard. So those of you that use the Nikon traditional standard, vivid, monochrome, landscape or portrait picture controls can still make use of those. They will still exist. It's just these new imaging recipes will be added as an additional option in your set picture control menu. When you're choosing between these picture controls, you will be able to see the difference in front of you live as you choose them in your eye menu. So you can press your eye button and then access your picture controls through there and cycle through your cloud picture controls and see the effect that they have on the image and the scene in front of you. Not only will these cloud picture controls affect your images, but you can also use these picture controls to affect your video recording. Each individual imaging recipe that you download not only applies those settings to your stills, but can also be chosen to apply to your video directly, especially if you want a slight creative intent that is the same in your still imagery and in your video imagery, this is a really useful way to create your own style across stills and video. When it comes to firmware updating your camera through the Nikon Imaging Cloud service, there's a couple of different options to make sure that the camera is only going to update the firmware when you want it to. So first of all, you can prompt the camera to check for any new updates and then download that update and proceed to update your camera when that's right for you but you can also allow your camera to automatically apply updates at a given time. So if you know there's a new firmware update that's been released for your camera and you want the camera to update for you automatically, think about what time is gonna be best suited for your camera to do that. Whether that might be nine o'clock in the morning or maybe at midnight, it's a time that you are less likely to be using your camera. In order for your camera to be able to perform an automatic firmware update, it will first of all need to be able to connect to the Nikon Imaging Cloud, meaning it needs to be connected to Wi-Fi. And it will also need to be connected to an external power source at the given time that you've requested the camera to perform the automatic update. They are the steps that you'll go through when registering your camera to your Nikon Cloud Imaging account. Once your camera is registered to your Nikon Cloud account, it will remain a part of your account until you either unlist that camera or no longer want the camera to access your cloud storage. You don't need to go through that setup process again. The camera will be able to automatically connect to the Nikon Imaging Cloud as long as it has a good Wi-Fi connection. I hope that this guide helps you connect your camera to the Nikon Imaging Cloud service and that the cloud service becomes an important part of your everyday photography.